Hi, I'm Tabitha and I'm with Greenback Expat Tax Services. We're a full service accounting firm and we specialize in the tax preparation for Americans living abroad. Our question today is, can my non-US spouse receive social security benefits? Well, the good news is in that most situations, the answer is yes. However, in order for your spouse to receive social security benefits, you yourself have to be eligible as well. How do you become eligible? Well, you need to have earned at least 40 quarters within the social security system. Basically, each quarter you can earn a credit, and so that means you're gonna have to have worked and contributed for 10 years in the US in order to receive benefits. Once you are receiving benefits, your spouse could also be eligible for regular spousal or disability benefits, or if you pass away, they could also be eligible for survivor benefits. Spousal benefits are disability benefits. Um, there's a couple of criteria that goes into that. So typically, you yourself have to be at retirement age and receiving benefits. Your spouse also has to be at retirement age. Um, that's 62 for most people. However, if you have um, a child under 16 or a disabled child, that age minimum is waived. Um, and then they can start receiving benefit. Typically, that's about 50% of whatever your benefit is your spouse can receive. On the other hand, if you were to pass away, there are survivor benefits. To claim those, you have to have been married for nine months unless you died in active military duty, in which case that nine month requirement is waived. If your spouse is eligible for that, if you've been married long enough, then they can start receiving benefits once they're at the age minimum. That's 60 for most people, 50 if your spouse is disabled, or again, if you have a child under 16 or a disabled child, that age minimum is waived. At those minimums, they're gonna start receiving about 70% of whatever your benefit was. If they wait until they reach full retirement age, then they can start receiving 100% of your spousal or of your social security benefit. One thing to note is if your spouse ended up working in the US long enough to where they themselves are eligible for social security benefits, they're not going to receive two payments. The social security will look at the benefit they're entitled to and their spousal survivor benefit, whichever the case may be, and they'll give you the larger of the two. Another important thing to note is if your spouse is working while receiving benefits, that could put them towards an earnings limit and those benefits could be reduced or altered in some way. Another important thing to note is while these rules apply to most people, there are different nuances for those who are living in certain countries or of certain nationalities. Um, and so the Social Security Administration actually has an entire book on all of these fine little details that go into determining eligibility. If you have questions or if you think you're not quite sure if your spouse will be eligible for benefits or not, I would highly suggest speaking to the Social Security Administration um, and they'll be able to point you in the right direction and give you an idea of what benefits your spouse could receive. I've also included some links in the description box below to give you a starting point for some uh, helpful resources I think you'll like. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact the Social Security Administration or you can head over to our website. We have a couple more resources about Social Security benefits there. It's www.greenbacktaxservices.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for today. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any important tax tips. Thanks so much. Have a great day.